MCAT 2015 CRAM Physical Foundations Question Flashcard 50 Kinematics Average Velocity Average Speed Instantaneous Velocity and Average Acceleration All right, let's delve into the question. At time t equals 1 minute, a car is traveling at a velocity of 20 meters per second. At time t equals 2 minutes, the car reaches a velocity of 40 meters per second. Which statement best describes the car's motion during this time interval? Is it A, the car's velocity never drops beneath 20 meters per second and never surpasses 40 meters per second? Is it B, the car's average acceleration is 0 0.33 meters per second squared? Is it C, the car's average speed is the same as the car's average velocity? Or is it D, the car's average velocity is 30 meters per second, assuming a straight path of travel? I'll give you a moment to think and arrive at the correct answer choice. Definitely press pause if you need to. Okay, hopefully by now you've come up with a solution. But if not, don't worry. We're going to look at the solution right now. Okay, so average velocity um, is the change in displacement over time. And if the car is traveling at a constant acceleration, we can assume the velocity would be 30 meters per second. But um, we're not told that, so we can't necessarily make that assumption. And average speed is the measure of um, distance over time. So we also can't say that it's the same thing as the car's average velocity, because distance is how much ground you cover, whereas displacement refers to your position. So if you travel 100 miles but return back to your original position, your displacement is going to be considered at zero meters, okay? So we can eliminate answer choices uh, D and C for now, all right? Um, if we were to assume, though, a straight line in one direction only, they would be the same, these two, okay? But that's not mentioned here. We're not making that assumption here, okay? The instantaneous velocity at one minute is 20 meters per second, and the instantaneous velocity at two minutes is 40 meters per second. In the same interval, the velocity could have assumed any value, positive or negative. So we can't make any assumptions about what's going on in between this interval, okay? Um, but that would leave answer choice B, and that's going to be our answer. The average acceleration is the change in velocity over time. So we have at 2 minutes, 40 meters per second minus 20 meters per second at 1 minute, all divided by 2 minutes minus 1 minute, which corresponds to the above values in the numerators. But we know that we don't have minutes here in the denominator for the answer choice. So we, this is like quick math. We also multiply the change in 2 minutes minus 1 minute, which is just going to be 1 minute. So this 1 minute cancels out with this 1 minute. And we're dividing by 60 seconds. And you can notice here that the difference between the initial and final velocity is 20 meters per second. So 20 meters per second divided by 60 seconds is going to be 0 0.33 seconds, meters per second squared. And so answer choice B, again, is our final answer. Okay? All right.